Hello and welcome back to GeForce and our coverage of CES. I'm Julian. We're going to be talking Razer, which means we got to talk to Kevin. It's good to see you again. Nice to see you. So we're here because obviously we launched the RTX 2060 and a whole fleet of new laptops that are going to be incorporating RTX cards. And of course, Razer is right there at the forefront too, right? Yeah, where it's been a very exciting week at CES, uh, starting off with your guys' great keynote where you guys announced all the GeForce RTX cards. We are quick to adopt those into our Blade 15 Advanced model the entire range all the way up to the 2080 Max-Q. So this new Blade 15 Advance, what are you guys updating along with the RTX cards that are now going to be featured in them? So the most notable change obviously is in the graphics, but we've done some other tweaks to it to really optimize the user experience. We've added a Windows Hello camera, so easy and secure fast logins. We've updated the memory capacity, so you can go up to 64 gigs of system memory in this thing now. It also supports Intel XMP profiles. We optimized the speakers for a little better bass response, and on the QWERTY keyboard layout, we finally lit up the secondary functions on the per key lighting for the Chroma keyboard. It's also going to come with some great options for the displays, right? Yeah, so at the end of the month, we'll be shipping 144 hertz full HD panel, and we'll also have a 4K IPS touch display, the same great panel choices we have today. But right around the corner, we're also showing off here at CES a 240 hertz full HD panel and a 4K OLED that'll be a touch screen. So along with the Blade 15 getting an update, the Stealth's getting updated as well, right? That's right. We just refreshed it uh, less than a month ago. So what we've done there is we've redesigned it. So it's like a little brother to the Blade 15s in terms of the cosmetic look. That means thinner bezels and a smaller profile. What we've brought in terms of power is we brought the MX150, the 25 watt part with the four gig VRAM. So you can do some video editing on the go. You can play some popular games on the go in a super compact CNC aluminum design. NVIDIA is definitely also starting to take creators into account with some of our hardware. It sounds like you guys are focused on that as well. Yeah, we've done a lot of projects with creators from our Razer Music Initiative over the last few years to our most recent Made with Blade campaign. It's great, you know, to see creatives out there using all the power that's available to them and being able to use it anywhere they need to. And if you're a creator, especially if you're, you know, graphic designer or anything like that, you're going to need an awesome monitor and you guys are showing one off here at CES. Yeah, so we've got our Razer Raptor. It's a 27-inch WQHD display. Play. It's 144 hertz, it's an IPS panel, it's DCI-P3, 95% support there. What's really unique about it though is the design of it. It's a forged aluminum base, all one piece, got Razer Chroma built in. You can tilt it back 90 degrees for easy cable connectivity, and the cables are included in the box because we have a built-in cable management system that allows you to route them down the backside. Yeah, Razer just does design so well. It's just dripping in style, and it's really cool to see. I want to know internally though, is this also going to have G-Sync feature? We are working with you guys to bring out a G-Sync version later this year, and then it's also going to be part of the adaptive sync stuff that Jensen announced on Sunday night, so hopefully by the time this ships in Q2, it might be qualified. If not, it'll at least be in the beta stage where users can turn that on. Thanks for making the time today, Kevin. My pleasure. Thank you guys for tuning in here on GeForce. Don't forget, we're covering a ton from CES, and if you subscribe and leave a comment on any of those videos, you are entered to win an RTX 2080 Ti. Do not miss out on that. Don't miss out on any of our coverage, and I'll see you next time on GeForce.